Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a demo on continuous integration and continuous deployment of an application to GKE with Jenkins and Spinnaker. As a part of this demo, we'll be talking about how we can deploy our applications seamlessly to GKE with the help of continuous integration tool Jenkins and the deployment tool Spinnaker, which is very widely used for CD POSPA chips. So just to talk in a view what we are going to do is we'll have a git repository we'll be making some code changes which will be automatically detected by Jenkins and Jenkins will trigger a build that will build a code and create a docker image as a process and the docker image will be tagged and pushed to GCR when the image is pushed to GCR it will trigger a build in Spinnaker because the Spinnaker is polling our GCR repository for any changes and once it detects a new tag being pushed to GCR it will trigger the deployment to the GKE cluster and we'll see how it behaves. So let's begin with the demo. So the first step for a demo is we'll go through a walkthrough of what is the existing infrastructure that we have in place and then we'll have make a git commits. So right now as you can see we have simple nginx web page which is the default page that we have and the current image that is running in our infrastructure in our GKE is on build ID 24 that's the tag that we have deployed also the last build is build number 25 so let's just go ahead and make some changes to our code for instance let me just go and add a line on our web page uh, this is live demo let's quickly commit it with a short commit message okay so now once we have made this commit Jenkins which has a hook configured in it for github should detect that the change has been made and it should trigger the build as a part of the build the Jenkins should build the code that has been checked in it should detect the docker file that is placed in the Jenkins github repository and it should try to build a docker image with the help of the docker file so as you can see the Jenkins has detected the new change that has been made and it has started to build our project it has checked out the new code and now it is building the it is executing the different build step that we have written as a part of our Jenkins pipeline so at the part of this pipeline itself we have the docker file that will be built and tagged in the local Jenkins machine so once the build is completed once the docker image has been successfully created it will tag the docker image with appropriate tags such as the build id and to what repository it should be pushed in case we need to push to gcr we'll be adding the gcr tags to it and then once the tagging is successful we'll push that particular image to gcr so let's wait for it to be pushed so once the new tag is pushed to GCR, it will invoke the pubsub that has been configured and that pubsub will notify our Spinnaker about the new tag push. So Spinnaker is a tool that we are using for our CD, which is continuous delivery. So let's just see if it is able to detect. Okay, so image push has been successful from Jenkins so now if we go to Spinnaker so you can see the Spinnaker has detected that a new tag has been pushed to GCR and it has started the deployment process of our new image to GKE so let's just wait for it to be successful let's refresh so now as you can see the tag has changed to build id 26 which was our latest build in our Jenkins now just to verify if the changes have been propagated properly let's just go on the UI page and just hit a refresh and you can see the changes that we made in github have been propagated so in this way you can see 
how seamlessly the code that code change that we have made in GitHub can be deployed to GKE without any manual intervention.